Hello everybody, this is Rolla from Winter Bros. In this quick video demonstration, we're going to show you how you can fashion body piercings for your characters in Dash Studio using primitive shapes. In this example, we're going to show you how to make a nose ring. However, please note that this uh, techniques are perfect for distance or blurred out of focus uh, renders of your subject, but we do not recommend them for close up or detailed renders. In cases like that, you should purchase a properly modeled 3D nose ring uh, with the right textures and uh, uh, support balls that go with it. This technique can be used with the Genesis, uh, or the Genesis 2 male and female, or Genesis 3 male and female. And we're going to quickly show you how to create the nose ring using the primitive shape uh, torus. And we'll go through that uh, in DAS Studio itself. Here are the settings, so if you want to refer back to this screen, you can uh, on the video. Uh, you can see the settings at the bottom there for the Genesis characters. We've pulled up DAS Studio 4.9 with the Genesis 2 female loaded here. And you see we've already created a nose ring using the uh, Taurus shape. Uh, we renamed it Nose Ring in the Scene tab. Uh, you can handle this however you like for your particular project. We'll go ahead and delete this object so we can show you exactly how we made it. So then we'll go ahead and delete the nose ring. We'll start up here on the main menu with create a new primitive. And then you're going to go ahead and make sure you select a torus shape. You're going to go to world center. Uh, because of the where it's going to be how to orientate it to the uh, characters we're using in DAS Studio, we went ahead and change the primary axis to Z positive. Uh, we already uh, did some testing and stuff to figure out the size that we need for the Genesis 2 female. It is going to be uh, 0.6 centimeters uh, in, uh, for the major diameter. The minor is going to be 0 0.25. And you can change these segments to whatever you like for the whatever resolution you need. But since we recommend this only for low resolution or um, distant uh, renders, uh, we just kept our set at 18 and 12. And then once you get that, just go ahead and click the Accept button. We'll go ahead and uh, we're going to zoom out here and show you the whole. There's our Genesis T female. And if you look at the very bottom of the screen here, you can see the actual torus that was created. Uh, we already had it sized uh, when we did it, made our initial determination so that it would fit the Genesis T female. So if we clicked here and we actually uh, focused on the ring, the torus, there it is. So what we're going to do now is go and position it. So as long as you get it selected over here in the uh, Scene tab, then you can go to the Parameters tab. And if you'll make those setting changes that we showed you on the previous screen, we'll go ahead and quickly make our uh, our adjustments here for the positioning on the X translation. We'll make the one that's required for the Y translation. And these are all to uh, get it in the right position to uh, be on the nose of the uh, Genesis 2 female. Uh, we didn't provide the settings for the male characters. However, those wouldn't be too hard to do. If you use these, it probably gets you close, if not exactly, to where you want to be. And on this last one, we'll get it done really quick. And you see we don't see it in the viewport anymore. However, if we go ahead and go ahead and select this, uh, go over here to frame it. We have it selected in the scene tab. We click that. You see there it shows up. What we'll do is back off a little bit so we actually can see the, uh, there she is. And you see how we get, we already had it properly positioned. We did a little playing around with it earlier because we didn't want to extend the video too long. So we got those positions all determined ahead. Now when you go to save your scene, this word Taurus, we recommend that you go ahead and change it to something like nose ring. Just click it one time. You can type over it. We just call it a nose, call it a nose ring. And then when you go to save your scene, uh, that's how to show up so that you'll remember what it is. Now once you've gotten your nose ring uh, created, of course you're not going to want that dull gray, so you want to add some color to it. So we're going to kind of show you, uh, using the Services tab, how you would uh, go ahead and add, uh, we're going to demonstrate with the gold color, uh, and how you can add some color to the actual nose ring once you get it created. So now we still have our nose ring selected in the scene tab. We can kind of push that to the side. And over here we'll click the Services tab. And you'll see the nose ring is right here. So we can go ahead and click it. 
and what we're going to do is you're basically going to make some changes to it. It's going to all depend. Uh, we'll scroll down really quick to the render settings. It all as uh, the, excuse me. Let me check it back. Uh, which uh, what what settings you use can depend on which of the render engines you use. Um, some of them are better than others for uh, doing gold colors and metallics. Uh, we got on the. We're going to show you at the end of this really quickly the page to show you some settings for the basic OpenGL, for the 3D light, and for the NVIDIA iRay. So what we're going to do really quick, we'll just go ahead and stick with the basic GL, OpenGL, and we'll show you some of those settings real quick how to make them. We'll go back to the Surfaces tab. There's such a wide variety of colors you can actually get uh, that we're just going to show you really quick. Uh, for the diffuse color here, we're going to go ahead and change it. You can click on the actual color bar for the diffuse color. And we're going to use the direct numbers here, so we're going to type in uh, the color we want in the RGB values. So we're going to be using 170, 80, and 0. And then we'll hit enter on that. We're going to set our diffuse strength to 25%. And we're going to set our glossiness to 25%. And you can see it's already starting to come into view a little bit. We'll go ahead and focus it a little bit and then back up just a tad. We'll go ahead down here and we'll set our specular color. Okay, we're going to make it 255, 236, and 23. And you can see it's kind of a lighter yellow we're using there. And you'll see how that affected the ring in the scene tab. And the viewport, excuse me. We'll set the strength for that to 75%. We'll scroll down here to the ambient. We're going to leave the ambient at 0, 0, 0 with 100%. That's OK. And then from, oh, at the top, I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, the lighting model we want is uh, glossy metallic. There's a metallic or glossy metallic. You can choose whatever best fits your project. Then we'll scroll down, down to the bottom. And we're going to be looking for the reflection and refraction colors. And they're both at white already, which is what we wanted. We're just going to change the reflection one to 25%. We're going to leave the refraction one at zero, and the index of refraction, we'll go ahead and leave it zero. We'll go back to our render settings here, and we'll set this down to a small number so that we can go ahead and render this really quickly for you uh, to show you how it's going to look. And you can see there she is with the nose ring right there in OpenGL rendering. Like we had previously mentioned, uh, we're going to show you really quick all the settings we use for different ones. Uh, that, that it's all going to depend on the lighting you use. You're going to have to add some lights to the to the scene, depending on which rendering engine you're going to use. Uh, either three light compatible lighting, uh, some of the OpenGL, or even the NVIDIA iRay compatible lighting. So, and it's all going to depend on that. And these are just for using basic color settings uh, to get the really good really good look. You're going to get some in-depth. You're going to have to have some uh, texture maps for the normals and the diffuse color and specular and the bump maps and all that other stuff. So like I said, this is just for a quick, if you need a nose ring, body piercing for a project and it's for a, uh, an out of focus or a distant view of somebody, you can get these uh, really nice looking colors. We showed you the settings that we used here with actual rendered models using the different rendering engines that are available in DAS Studio. Well, we hope you enjoyed this uh, quick video presentation uh, and that you use it uh, for future projects of your own. Uh, for other products we might offer that you might find useful, please visit our website at www.winterbros.com and have a great day.